Controversial opinion. I don't like Elden Ring. Before you at me in the comments, I'm married to the biggest FromSoft fanboy. For months, I've had to endure lectures on why Elden Ring is the crowning achievement of FromSoft's games. To which my very mature response has been, Boop ring. Here's 10 reasons I don't like it. Problem number one, the control system isn't optimized for play. You're in the middle of a fierce battle. Health is low. You reach for a healing potion, but now you need to scroll through a million items in order to get it. Too late, you died. Then you want to summon your horse, Torrent, to escape. A pop-up menu appears. Do you want to summon your steed? Of course I bloody well want to summon my steed. Why would I be pressing the button if I didn't? Too late, you died. I know they say a poor craftsman blames his tools, but when you have to remap the entire control system to make it work for the game, there is something wrong. In this age of dynamic gaming where combat is fast, Elden Ring's controls feel clunky, slowing down gameplay and frustrating players to no end. Problem number two, problematic lock-on. One enemy, no probs. Two, okay. But fighting a group where your lock-on keeps rolling around between enemies so that you can't focus on taking down one at a time. Plus, spells don't really aim well without locking on. It's a massive playability issue in Elden Ring. Three, the story is buried. I've heard all the lectures about how the story is hidden in the lore. But how the hell do I find the lore? Turns out one of the best marketing strategies from software ever did was to bury the lore so that there are thousands upon thousands of videos explaining the story of Elden Ring, which is a great marketing strategy, but is it actually a good player experience? I think not. After 40 hours of gameplay, I still don't know what's going on. There's a ring. I've got to go defeat some people. And what do I do with all these inventory items? Why is that turtle wearing a Pope hat? I'm all for discoverability in video games, but compared to other open world experiences like Skyrim or Dragon Age, the least they could do was give us a couple of plot bones. Maybe even a cut scene or two that's not linked to a boss battle. Not to mention how much it feels like a bloated riff on Shadow of the Colossus. There, yeah, I said it. The issue is that without an obvious story, it's hard for Elden Ring to be meaningful. Which leads me to point four. I don't care about being an Elden Lord. Because the lore is so buried in the game, I just don't care. I can't be asked. I'm pretty happy just being Lady Broomhilda Knobhead, thank you very much. I don't even know what I should do half the time except for riding my horse past enemies and opening up the map. It's a key question for any narrative designer. Why should the player care? Because if I don't care, why would I want to finish the game? Elden Ring fails to answer the most important question. Why should I become an Elden Lord? Because if you can't tell me why, unless I'm the kind of gamer who plays for the achievement of completion, I'm not going to invest my time in the game. Honestly, I cared more about my Tamagotchi than becoming an Elden Lord. Point number five. There are passive aggressive notes everywhere. Yes, Elden Ring is my first FromSoft game. How did you know? But why oh why are there passive aggressive notes and blood stains everywhere? While some are helpful, some are just downright nasty, encouraging you to jump off a cliff when there's nothing down below. Rude. Six, the grind is real. I get that in any open world RPG, you are going to need to grind, especially in those early stages when your character is a squishy little level one wretch. When most games give you a couple of low level quests with a bit of story thrown in so you can build up your XP while learning the game, Elden Ring gives you a Groundhog Day nightmare. Hours upon hours running around a boulder Indiana Jones style to collect thousands of runes just to run back to a site of grace and start again. Never mind that you have to watch a YouTube video just to know how to do this so you can level up to be good enough to fight the bosses in the basic levels. I come back to the question, why? Point seven, the bosses are over leveled to the area. After you've spent all this time leveling up, grinding, rolling around balls, you go and fight a boss and you died again and again. I'd expect some level of challenge in a boss battle, but these bosses are next level. And I know you're gonna write, get good in the comments. It makes you feel like you have to progress the map 
far further than where you're at with the current boss. The fights are brutal and unforgiving, which isn't a problem in their own right. But these boss battles stymie any progress you feel like you're making. Eight. Controversial point. The stealth mechanics are basic. Assassin's Creed has better stealth mechanics than Elden Ring. Apart from being insanely OP, the stealth mechanics in the game have one function, which is sneak up and backstab. And yes, I'm all for manipulating the weak points of a game's mechanics to your advantage, but it feels silly that you can sneak up on someone sitting around a campfire in broad daylight wearing full armor and still not be detected. Point nine. The female character generator is um, interesting. Look, I appreciate that you can play as a masculine or feminine body type here, but it feels like there hasn't been a lot of thought into how the outfits would appear on different body types. For example, the open shirt outfit, fine on a dude, not very practical on a woman. And when you age your female character, everything else gets a bit wrinkled, but your boobs don't sag. Sorry, but this is a fact of life and weird when all your other skin is saggy. Finally, point number 10. Elden Ring is not fun. I had been really hoping to enjoy Elden Ring. After all, open world RPGs are my jam. But I find myself getting angry at the game. Rage quit anyone? And that's not necessarily a state I want to be in as a player or as a human being. You know, the way we play in the world affects how we feel in real life. I love the challenge, but when the challenge makes me want to throw a controller across the room, you've got to consider whether the game is beneficial to your well-being. And I don't believe all games should be fun. I mean, after all, nobody plays The Last of Us for fun. But without the meaning imbued by the story, I'm not intrigued, nor am I compelled to stay in the world of Elden Ring. Do you have things you don't like about Elden Ring? Please do mention them in the comments. Likewise, if you want to wax lyrical about how Elden Ring is the greatest video game of all time and I'm wrong, go right ahead. I don't agree, but I respect your opinion. If you like hot takes on video games, reviews, and just general nerd stuff, please do hit subscribe. And thanks so much for watching, my fellow Elden Lords.